Xiao Yan also looked at the smiling golden dragon king in surprise. Yes, at that time, my master used his own hands to get rid of the ghost. And when he was collecting some scattered souls, the master seemed to find something, but Xiao Yan was too weak at that time and forgot. Now, after Shizu said this, I suddenly got a strong interest. I wanted to come to the level of the man in black who said that the Mu family had meddled with things that shouldn't be touched and that so-called shouldn't be touched. Things are not ordinary things. Is this what the man in black said? Xiao Yin also stared blankly at the pitch black scroll. Yes, this is what the man in black said. And at the same time, I think it was the thing that caused the Mu family to be destroyed. The Golden Dragon King said slowly, in this world, there are countless strange things in the world, but everyone knows the ideal of innocence and guilt. If you have treasures and are known to others without sufficient strength, it will only attract others to hunt and kill, like the Mu family. There are so many. Hold it. You can try to open it with all your strength. The Golden Dragon King threw the pitch black scroll to Xiao Yin obviously wanting him to comprehend it himself. In Xiao Yan's hand, there was an inexplicable force that was terrifyingly passed down from the scroll, but when Xiao Yan wanted to open it, he couldn't open it no matter what. Seeing this, Xiao Yan also knew the extraordinariness of this scroll, but he was not helpless and immediately turned his huge soul power towards the scroll. Touch! A slight vibration came from Xiao Yan's hand. Obviously, Xiao Yan's soul power just now failed. In other words, the pitch black scroll in Xiao Yan's hand actually repelled Xiao Yan's soul power. There are only two possibilities. One is that the soul power of the person who made this scroll is much stronger than Xiao Yan's, and Xiao Yan's soul power is not enough, so he can't open the scroll. There is also a need for a special method to open. Xiao Yin was also a character who refused to admit defeat, and then Xiao Yi summoned it, and the flames devoured the scroll away. Boom, boom, boom. The pitch black scroll let the scorching flames bake without any response. This? Xiao Yin also looked at the Golden Dragon King helplessly at this time. This was the first time such an unheard of phenomenon. How could there be such a scroll? Xiao Yin wondered in his heart. Okay, don't be depressed. If this scroll was easily resolved by you now, it would not be targeted by the demons. The Golden Dragon King also saw that Xiao Yin was helpless, so he said, Master, is there any way for you to open this scroll? Xiao Yin looked at the Golden Dragon King and asked, I think it should be possible to deal with this scroll with the power of my master. Yes, yes, but if I open it up, the great opportunity in this will not belong to you. After speaking, he looked at Xiao Yin with a smile. Ah, a big chance? Xiao Yin was at a loss at this time. This scroll could not be opened. What was the big chance that the master said? Okay, don't complain. It's normal that this scroll can't be opened, because opening this scroll requires the power of a holy flame. So we have to prepare the medicinal pill that devours the holy flame first. Seven flame flowers, Su Xingdan, blood spirit ice liquid. Furthermore, from my experience, this scroll should be an inheritance left by a supreme power. The golden dragon king said slowly, Do you need holy flame to open it? Inheritance? Xiao Yin stared at the pitch black scroll in front of him and the corners of his mouth couldn't help closing. Then we'll go look for the holy flame when it's settled here. With a holy flame, plus the strange fire on your body, something very interesting will definitely happen. The Golden Dragon King looked at Xiao Yin maliciously. For some reason, Xiao Yin always felt that he kept falling into the path that the Golden Dragon King designed for him. Okay, don't be depressed, boy. There are still things you need to solve now. You forgot Guben Payonpi? The Golden Dragon King said slowly. I'm really curious about the secret of Qin Yuan that you were so optimistic about. Xiao Yin listened to the Golden Dragon King holding Qin Yuan, 
and he also understood that with his own master's eyes, he would definitely not deceive himself. But that Qing Yuan, what secret is there in Yuan? Xiao Yin couldn't help but wonder. If that's the case, let's go out. Xiao Yin stood up and cleaned up the dust on his body, then put on his back some pitch black eternal fire ruler and slowly walked towards the stone outside. Huh, the sunlight is really warm. Xiao Yin had just come out of the stone room. It was already morning outside, and the rays of sunlight shone on Xiao Yin's body, causing Xiao Yin, who had been cultivating, to feel his body for a while. Easy, young master Xiao. You're out of the gate. Miss instructed the youngest to wait for the young master here, and take the young master there after he is out of the gate. A girl who looked more delicate said respectfully to Xiao Yin. Then Lao will lead the way. Xiao Yin also smiled politely at the young woman. On the path of the ghost, the maid led Xiao Yin to the hall. Young Master Xiao is really young and promising. No wonder the young lady is so fascinated by him. The maid looked at Xiao Yin and said, What does Gu Liang mean? Xiao Yin was also at a loss at this time, not knowing why the maid in front of him said this to him. Ah, young Master Xiao took the liberty, but isn't it obvious? It's rare to see a young lady being so tempted by a man these years. The maid said slowly. Xiao Yin was also shocked when he heard it, and obviously understood why Yueru asked that before her retreat. Hey, there are so many infatuated people in the world. I already have a family. I'm afraid I can only live up to misuse good intentions. Xiao Yin thought to himself. To be honest, Xiao Yin is not a person who is not a promiscuous person. He is just a simple friend to you, Eru. How can I know that it will be such a relationship? It is really a headache. She followed the maid into the family hall, where Yu Eru and Yui Yu were discussing something. Little friend Xiao Yin has left. It seems that the strength of this retreat has increased again. Yu Yu laughed. Obviously. Under the strength of the Yu family patriarch five-star Do Di, Xiao Yin still finds it difficult to hide his strength. It's a fluke, but that's okay. Xiao Yin also laughed. During the days when little friend Xiao Yin was in retreat, the young lady Qing Yuan woke up once, but she has been in a coma since then. Even if we hired a lot of doctors, it was really impossible. However, there are traces of the emperor-level dragon demon core. It is said that the ruins of the beast are about to be opened, and it is rumored that the emperor-level dragon demon core is also in it. Yu sat on the main seat and looked at Xiao Yin. The remains of monsters? What is that? Xiao Yin was also new to the ramp, so he couldn't help but ask a few more questions. You all go down. Yu Yu ordered. Yu 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 Eru father and daughter and Xiao Yin were left in the hall. Yu Yu looked at Xiao Yin, who was confused, and said with a smile, This demonic beast mountains is also a relatively famous fierce place near Qingqing on the profound spirit continent. For some reason, the cold air is extremely thick there. The sky is covered with the sun, and if you run wild, you will only get lost in it and there are many powerful and bloodthirsty monsters in the mountains, which are quite troublesome to deal with. This time, the remains of monsters are located in this monster mountain. It is rumored that there are immortal level fighting skills and countless martial arts pills in the remains of the beasts this time, but more importantly, there are some differences in the ruins this time. The people who went in to explore have no whereabouts. I don't know what happened. Oh, aren't beasts and humans old enemies? How can the ruins in the Beast Mountain Range allow us humans to get involved? Xiao Yin said in a puzzled way. Little friend Xiao Yin doesn't know that the remains of beasts in the Warcraft Mountains are actually left by an Almighty. It is rumored that the Almighty hated beasts by nature and set a ban. You can't go in there. Furthermore, the emperor-level demon core that Xiao Yin needs is also among them. Yu Yu also relieved Xiao Yan's worries. Father, I don't know what's in the beast ruins this time. Yu Eru also said, 
Yu Yu smiled lightly and said, A long time ago, in this world of the Great Thousand World, there were countless strong men who fell. The place where the blood of the Do Di strong men fell turned into a place of ruins. There are all kinds of mysteries all over the opportunity, attracting countless geniuses. Compete. Just because if you can get the emperor blood, you can become an emperor and build a holy foundation. Secret. Hearing you use old voice, Xiao Yin was a little dazed, just because of all that, something out of his understanding. What is an emperor? Xiao Yin said with some difficulty, but because these two words seemed to contain a great charm, even if they were spoken out of his mouth, the source chi in his body shook a little. Yu Yu thought for a while, then smiled. That's too far away for you. You just need to know that the so-called emperor is the strength of the owner of the peak of the seven-star Do Emperor. A drop of blood of an emperor can turn the ocean into a sea. When the emperor fell, his blood and remains of the emperor fell into the sky and the earth, thus forming some ruins. And on our Xinling continent, there is a place of ruins that exists in the monster beast mountains outside the city. Xiao Yan's pupils could not help shrinking. After talking for a long time, he finally got to the point. Yu Yu smiled and said, Now there are eight cities within a hundred miles of our Qingcheng, and almost all the geniuses of the younger generation are preparing for the ruins and practicing hard. I heard that the young master from Wuching has been practicing hard for this for several years. Obviously, he is bound to get it. The other big families, the proud sons of the big families who have done their best to cultivate, are also dispatched one after another, and what they do is to win the great fortune in the land of ruins. Once you win such a great fortune, the Xianling royal family in the Xianling continent will notice you and lead you. The Xianling royal family? Xiao Yin asked blankly. He knew that the Xianling continent was the name of the world he established. On the vast continent, it was only one of them, but the so-called Xianling imperial family came from not heard. It's normal if you haven't heard of it. It's obviously known to a few people. Yu Yu smiled and said, In short, this Xianling royal family is the ruler of the Xianling continent. Their big hands cover the world and you are the ants below. Xiao Yin gave a wry smile. That is indeed a too far level, and with his present, he cannot reach it at all. However, after saying this, Xiao Yin can be considered to know the power of the ruins. Even the Wuching and many other cities, the proud sons of the great family, are very coveted. It is conceivable. What kind of good fortune is that? With chance. But the ruins are so important. Wouldn't the various forces send strong people? Xiao Yin suddenly asked if those cities directly send Do Di strong, or even stronger strong. Then no matter how strong the young proud son, I'm afraid I can't compete. The land of ruins has the power of the emperor. The stronger the person, the stronger the suppression they will receive when they enter it. Yu Yu said with a smile. If those strong people are not afraid of being beheaded by some little guys because of oppression, they should not dare to enter easily. He stared at Xiao Yin. A ray of light flashed across his turbid eyes and said with a smile, Little friend, if the great fortune of the Holy Land falls into the hands of the heaven's arrogant sons in other cities, I am sure that what you want to get the chance of the emperor-level dragon demon core to save others will become extremely low extremely low. Yu Yu's voice paused and then said again, Of course, with your current strength, if you wanted that guy, I'm afraid it will be difficult. How is it? Do you have the guts to have a coveted heart for that great good fortune? Yu Yu said with a half smile, as if she was looking forward to Xiao Yan's reaction. Xiao Yan closed his eyes slightly and took a deep breath. After a while, he slowly opened his eyes and there was an intriguing gleam in his eyes. Moreover, the mission on his body is also heavy, to find his clansmen, the Golden Dragon King, to regain his strength, to collect holy flames, and more importantly, to find Sunur and the others. 
All this requires strength. One step at a time, one step at a time. Xiao Yin wanted to catch up and save others, so he had to seize every opportunity. Of course, in the ruins, there are many powerful people from all walks of life, noble families and proud people of the big families. Compared with them, Xiao Yin seems to have no advantage. But since he came to duty continent, he began to practice the complete burning Jew. Since that day, there has never been a lack of courage. So, Xiao Yin looked at Yu Yu who was sitting on it, solemnly clasped his fists and saluted. Xiao Yin, thank the seniors for the guidance. He was very fortunate that he met Yu Yu here, so that he did not miss the chance to touch the great creation. Then this so-called chance. I, Xiao Yin, can't ask for anything. After speaking, Xiao Yin had a bright smile on his face. Ha! Huh, I knew that you were not simple. How can you be an ordinary person with a fire elf strange thing? And this time in the ruins, the little girl also needs something. I have already given her the map. I will ask Xiao Yin Xiao Yu to take care of it this time. Yu Yu said slowly, Pack up and leave today. After speaking, he walked out of the lobby, leaving Xiao Yin and Yu Eru looking at each other. I'm going to trouble you this time, too. Yu Ru vegetarian waved her hand and bowed to Xiao Yin with a slight smile on her face. Thank you, Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin also understood what she meant and immediately left the lobby with a smile.